G'day everyone, it's Random Girl here and today I've got my Medium Wilderness Achievement Guide for you all to follow along with. On my screen now you'll see a list of items for completing these tasks. First up, if you didn't watch my last video and grow yourself some bloodweed in advance, I'll show you how to get a bloodweed seed. After the recent updates, you can now use Super Growth Potion Leafy if you have one to speed up the process. First, bank all your items. For the next part, you'll need to be sculled, so don't take anything you aren't willing to lose if you're PK'd. Speak to Vala in Edgeville to toggle PvP on, then jump the wall and run northwest to the bandit camp. You have to be sculled to enter this area without being attacked and also to trade the store. Head over to Notarazo and trade him. Buy yourself a bloodweed seed. While you're in this area, head over to Fat Tony and buy yourself a pizza base. Run over to the pond and fish until you catch some anchovies. Run back to the kitchen and cook the anchovies. Grab the tomato and the cheese off the nearby table and add them to your pizza base. Make sure you use the right click option and use these and don't accidentally eat them. Once you've made yourself a plain pizza, cook it. Then use your cooked anchovies on the pizza. Once you have an anchovy pizza, right click use the pizza on Fat Tony to complete the achievement. Now run south until you're back in the level 20 wilderness and able to teleport, otherwise run back to Edgeville. Head over to the bank and grab yourself an uncut dragon stone, a vial of water, a muddy key, rope and a small fishing net. If you want to bait the salamanders then feel free to also grab some Haralander tar. Also bring your bloodweed seed and if you have it and you want to speed things up, bring your supreme growth potion leafy. Since the recent update to the wilderness, wildy creatures everywhere are aggressive and you will be periodically attacked, so make sure you have some combat gear and food to help you along. Now run over to the canoe tree in Edgeville. As you run past Banner, make sure to toggle off PvP. Chop down the tree at the canoe station and carve yourself a waka boat. If you get this message appear, then you're still toggled on for PvP, so run back over to Vanna and disable that. Then head back to the canoe. Choose your destination as the Wilderness Pond. This will put you just south of the Herb Patch. Head over to the Herb Patch, clear it if you need to, and plant your Bloodweed Seed. If you have the growth potion, use it now. If you're waiting for it to grow, then come back here later and complete this step. After the herb grows, pick the bloodweed and clean it. Then add some to the vial of water. Cut your dragon stone and then grind it and add it to the potion. Sometimes this process glitches and it only partially completes the task. If this happens to you and the task doesn't complete properly, just bring along the remaining bloodweed and we'll complete this task a little later.
At this point, I suggest that you turn off auto retaliate to save yourself some trouble. Run west from the herb patch over towards the lava maze. Entry point is here at this web you need to slash. Run through the maze until you get to another web that you need to slash. then run over to the chest and open it with your muddy key to complete the achievement. As soon as you've unlocked it, run back out of the maze, taking care to avoid the Ripper Demon and other creatures that will attack you, and this is why we should have Auto Retaliate off. Once out of the lava maze, run through the gate north to the agility course. Go through the gate into the agility course, complete the course, then run back out the same gate. After exiting the agility course, run northeast and into this hut. Slash the two webs and pull the lever. If the earlier luck potion task didn't fully complete for you, then bank here and grab yourself another vial of water, an uncut dragon stone, and make sure you still have the blood weed with you. Pull the lever to teleport you back into the wildy. Clean some blood weed, add it to the vial, then cut the dragon stone and grind it, then add it to the potion. As you can see this time, the task did complete properly for me. Now pull the lever and head back down below. If you have never completed the Mage Arena minigame, we'll do this now. If you have a low combat level, grab some food and then head over and talk to Collodion. Talk to him about the Mage Arena and agree to fight him. He'll teleport you to the top of the arena and you'll need to fight a handful of enemies. After the fight completes, he'll teleport you back down to the same cave. At this point, you will be able to step into the sparkling pool. Make sure you do have a couple of free inventory spaces for the next step. Speak to the chamber guardian and he'll tell you to pray at a statue of your choice in the other end of the cave. Whichever of the three statues you'd like, pray at them. 
I think I've said before my favourite colour is green so it's not really a surprise that I chose Gothics. Pick up the cape that's dropped and run back to the chamber guardian and speak with him. He'll give you a staff, but this isn't enough to complete the task. You'll now have to trade him and buy another staff of any type for 80k coins to complete the task. Once the task completes, step into the pool again and return to the bank area. If you have banked any of these items, make sure that you now have a lockpick, rope and a small net with you. If you've turned it back on, I once again recommend turning off Auto Retaliate. Exit this area by pulling the lever and then run east to the hut with the axes. Pick the lock on the door and once inside, right click to search and disarm the traps on a chest. You'll automatically search the chest afterwards and complete the task. Head straight back outside as the picks will continue to attack you while you stay in here. Once outside of the axe hut, run east towards the rogues castle and enter via the side door. Pickpocket any of the people here until the task completes. We're now going to trap a salamander. Make your way to the boneyard to do this. You can use the obelisk to teleport from, but they will teleport you to a random location. You may have to try a couple of times if you don't get to an area close to where we're going. Instead of telehopping everywhere, I just ran from the first one that I landed at. You can see here on the map where we're heading to. Once here, use one of the trees to set a trap. If you're using bait, you can put the Haralander tart in the trap. I didn't bother with using bait and just chose to wait. After checking your trap and getting a black salamander, you should have completed all the medium wieldy tasks. Now you need to speak with Mandrith to claim the rewards. The easiest way to do this is to head back to Edgeville, grab your Wildy One sword from the bank, then run south and pull the lever to end up back in the Wildy. Run north, cut the web, then run west to Mandrith. Speak to him about the task system and claiming rewards, and there we go, all done. If you're going to be doing the hard buildy tasks, then hold on to that black Sally that you caught because we'll be using him in the next set. Keep an eye out for my future achievement guides. I will eventually have the complete set of achievement guides out, but give me a shout out and let me know what other content you want to see me create. <laughs>